Team Go Rocket has taken over, which means new Shadow Pokemon lineups from the Grunts, Leaders, and Giovanni. And today we're going to talk about every single Shadow Pokemon available in Pokemon Go right now and that you should be catching. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing we're talking about is going to be all 19 Grunts you can find in Pokemon Go and what each one gets you and which one's actually worth going after. And that will all start us off here with the Bug Grunt. Now the Bug Grunt will be a male that will say, go my super bug Pokemon. That's how you know what it is before you battle it. But from defeating the Bug Grunt, you will be able to encounter a Shadow Weedle, Shadow Lediba, Shadow Joltik, Shadow Beedrill, Shadow Kakuna, or a Shadow Pineco, which can be a shiny Shadow Pineco from the Grunts. Out of all these, the best ones to go after is going to be the Shadow Weedle, Kakuna, or Beedrill, which Shadow Beedrill is pretty good in the Great League. Shadow Joltik evolves into Shadow Galvantula, which is going to be good in the Great League and in the Ultra League. And Shadow Pineco evolves into Shadow Fortress, which is pretty good in the Halloween Cup. Moving on though to the Dark Round, which will say wherever there is light, there is also shadow. From the dark run, you will be able to encounter Shadow Alolan Grimer into Shadow Alolan Muck. Muck is pretty good for the Ultra League. And Shadow Alolan Rattata into Shadow Alolan Raticate. Raticate does have some play in the Halloween Cup. Next up, the Dragon Grunt. Roar, how does that sound, is a sentence they will say. And that can get you either a Shadow Gibble or a Shadow Alolan Executor. There is rumors going around that you can get Shadow Dratini from this, but I do not think they are exactly true because Shadow Dratini is available, of course, from Cliff. Nonetheless, Shadow Gibble into Shadow Gar Garchomp. Shadow Garchomp is a great ground type ray attacker, a great dragon type ray attacker, and good in the Master League. So overall, a great Pokemon to go after. This grunt is pretty rare though. Next up, the Electric Grunt says, get ready to be shocked. Getting you either an encounter with Shadow Lolan Geodude, Shadow Shinx, or Shadow Mareep. The best one here will be Shadow Shinx into Shadow Luxray. Does have some play in the Great League and a decent electric type raid attacker, as well as Shadow Mareep into Shadow Ampharos. Pretty decent in the Ultra League. Next up, the Fairy Grunt. Check out my cute Pokemon is the sentence they will say. And from the Fairy Grunt, you can get a Shadow Snubble, Shadow Ralts, or Shadow Mawile, which Shadow Mawile can be a Shadow Shiny. Shadow Snubble into Shadow Granbull is going to be a great charmer for the Great League and the Ultra League, probably one of the best right now. Shadow Ralts into Shadow Gardevoir, a very good fairy type raid attacker. And Shadow Ralts into Shadow Gallade, if it is a male, is going to be decent in the Ultra League. Finally, Shadow Mawile does see some play in some limited cups, like the Halloween Cup going on right now. Next up, the Fighting Ground, which is a fun one. The sentence they will say is, this buff physique isn't just for show. Getting you either a Shadow Hitman on Lee, a Shadow Hitmonchan, or a Shadow Hisuian Sneasel, which is one of the new shadows of this event. Now, none of these Pokemon are great, but Shadow Hisuian Sneasel into Shadow Sneasler is going to be a decent Great League Pokemon, and before it was very hard to get Sneasler for the Great League, so it's a great Pokemon to go after. Now, from the Fire Grunt that says, do you know how hot Pokemon with Fire Breath, you can get a Shadow Vulpix, Shadow Torchic, or Shadow Litwick. Shadow Vulpix is great because Shadow Ninetales is good in the Great League. Shadow Torchic evolving into Shadow Blaziken is going to be an amazing Fire type Ray Attacker, and of course, Shadow Litwick into the new Shadow Chandelure will be an amazing ghost and fire type raid attacker. Now there's also the flying type grunt that says battle my flying type Pokemon. This can get you a shadow ducklet, a shadow Natu, or a shadow Zubat. Shadow ducklet is going to be good in the little cup and shadow Zubat into shadow Golbat will be good in some limited great league metas. Next up the ghost grunt says key 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 with two potential new shadows. The encounters for this will be shadow ghastly, shadow Lewick, or shadow Shuppet. Great grunt to go after because shadow ghastly into shadow Gengar. Shadow Gengar is going to be a good ghost type raid attacker. It will die pretty fast though. Shadow Litwick then apparently is pretty rare, but evolving into Shadow Chandelure, one of the best ghost type ray attackers and fire type ray attackers in the game right now. So great to grab that one if you can. Next up though, we have the Grass Grunt saying, don't tangle with us. Now from the Grass Grunt, you will be able to get Shadow Oddish, Shadow Cacne, or Shadow Bellsprout, which can be supposedly a Shadow Shiny. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Arlo has Shadow Bellsprout, but you can also hunt it through the Grass Grunts. Nonetheless, the best ones here will be Shadow Oddish, which itself is pretty good in the Little Cup, and Shadow Bellsprout evolving into Shadow Victory Bell, very good in the Great League. Next up, the Ground Grunt, which is a great one to go after because it says you'll be defeated into the ground. From the Ground Grunt, you can get either a Shadow Fanfy, Shadow Wooper, Shadow Drillbur, or the new Shadow Rhyhorn. Well, Shadow Drillbur's new too. Shadow Rhyhorn is apparently pretty rare though. The best ones here though are going to be Shadow Wooper into Shadow Quagsire. Going to be very, very good for the Great League. And we also do have Commute for Wooper coming up. So if you can get a good IV one, evolve it, get Aqua Tail and all that stuff, you're cooking. Next up though, Shadow Drillbur into Shadow Excadrill. Shadow Excadrill, a good Master Premier Cup Pokemon and Master League Pokemon, as well as a good Ground Type Ray Attacker. Finally, Shadow Rhyhorn into 
Shadow Rhyperior. Shadow Rhyperior, very good as a rock type ray attacker, good as a ground type ray attacker, and good in the Master League. That ground grunt is one of the best to go after this season. That moves us on though into the Ice Grunt. You're gonna be frozen in your tracks, will be their sentence. This can get you either a Shadow Lolan Sandshrew, Shadow Lolan Vulpix, or Shadow Swinup. A Lolan Sandshrew into a Lolan Sand Slash is gonna be an amazing Pokemon for the Great League and the Ultra League. Very, very meta right now. As well as a Lolan Vulpix into a Lolan Ninetales, great for the Great League and the Ultra League as well. Finally, Swinup into Mamoswine. Mamoswine in the Shadow form is the number one Ice type ray attacker and a very good ground type ray attacker. Overall, three great Pokemon to get, as always, from the Ice Grunt. Next up, though, we have one of the worst Grunts, probably the Normal Grunt. The Normal Grunt can get you Shadow Glamia or Shadow Meowth, which Shadow Meowth can be potentially shiny. Nonetheless, really, none of these Grunts are good to go after. You can kind of just avoid it unless you want shiny Shadow Meowth. That moves us into the Poison Grunt, though, which says Coiled and Ready to Strike, getting you encounters with either Shadow Grimer, which can be shiny Shadow Grimer, or Shadow Fungus. Now, Shadow Kanto Muck is decent in the Great League and some limited Great League meta, so not a bad Pokemon to grab. Next up though, we do have the Psychic Grunt, which will say, are you scared of the Psychics that use unseen powers? This can get you either an encounter with Shadow Natu, Shadow Ralt, Shadow Spoink, Shadow Abra, or Shadow Girafferate. The best ones here will be Shadow Ralt, which of course we already talked about Shadow Gardevoir being great, and Shadow Gallade, but you can also get Shadow Abra, which evolves into Shadow Alakazam, a decent Psychic type raid attacker. Next up though, one of my favorite Grunts, which is going to be the Rock Grunt saying, let's rock and roll. That can get you encounter with either the new Shadow Shield on, the new Shadow Kranidos, Shadow Lolan Geodude, Shadow Lilip, Shadow Anorith, or Shadow Graveler. Of course, Shadow Shield on into Shadow Bastidon is going to be an interesting Pokemon for the Great League. It's very meta there. Not sure how much Shadow will help it, but it's good to grab. Shadow Kranidos, of course, also evolves into Shadow Rampardos. Shadow Rampardos, number one damage per second rock type ray attacker in the game. One we've been waiting for on for a while. It's amazing. Also, Shadow Lilip is worth a mention because Shadow Cradilly is going to be a decent Ultra League Pokemon and Great League Limited Cup Pokemon. Just a good one to have built. We're getting down to the end of it though with the Steel Grunt saying you're no match for my Iron Will. Gain you encounters with either Shadow Aeron, Shadow Larion, Shadow Matang, Shadow Alolan Diglett, or Shadow Alolan Sandshrew. Now obviously we talk about Shadow Alolan Sandslash being amazing, but Shadow Matang is in there, which evolves into Shadow Metagross, and Shadow Metagross is going to be the number one Steel type ray attacker in the game. Definitely worth getting, but that Shadow Matang, as always, is pretty rare to find. That moves us in to the Water Grunt, which actually has different encounters depending on if it's male or female. If you find a male Water Grunt, that will get you an encounter with Shadow Magikarp. Shadow Magikarp into Shadow Gyarados is going to be a very good Master League Pokemon and actually a decent water type rate attacker. But if it is a female, you will get encounters with Shadow Psyduck, Shadow Shelter, or the new Shadow Barboach. The best ones to grab here is going to be the Shadow Barboach, which Shadow Wish Cash does see some play in the Great League. And finally, that moves us into the last Grunt, which I like to call the Elite Grunt, which again has a male or female encounter. If you encounter a female Elite Grunt, which will say these sentences, don't bother, I've already won, get ready to be defeated or winning is for winners, you'll get an encounter with the Shadow Snorlax from the female grunt. Shadow Snorlax, very good Master League Pokemon if you can grab a good IV one. But if it is a male that says those sentences, you will get encounters with either Shadow Bulbasaur, which can be shiny Shadow Bulbasaur, Shadow Squirtle, which can be shiny Shadow Squirtle, Shadow Charmander, which can be shiny Shadow Charmander, Shadow Kolava, Krogana, or Bayleaf. Honestly, all of these Pokemon are great to get. Shadow Venusaur is going to be a good grass type ray attacker and good in the Great League and the Ultra League. Shadow Charmander into Shadow Charizard. Shadow Charizard, one of the best Great League and Ultra League closing Pokemon right now, and good as a fire type raid attacker. Shadow Quilava into Shadow Typhlosion, a great fire type raid attacker. Shadow Croconon into Shadow Feraligator, a good water type raid attacker. And Shadow Bayleaf into Shadow Meganium, good in the Great League and in the Ultra League. And there you go. That is all the grunts and all the shadows and shadow shinies you could potentially be getting from them. But that moves us in to the leaders and which ones are the best to go after. Let's start off with Arlo. Arlo, of course, has Shadow Bellsprout as an encounter, which we talked about Shadow Victory Bell being great. Overall, though, I'm not sure how much you should go after Arlo, specifically because Bellsprout in the shadow form is in the grass grunt, so you can just hunt this shiny shadow for free. That moves us in to Sierra, though, which of course has my favorite, Shadow Sableye, which can be shiny Shadow Sableye. Now, Sableye in the shadow form is not good, but to use Sableye in the Great League, you want a legacy move return on it. The only way to get the move return is to purify a Sableye. So, defeating Sierras, getting Sableyes, and then purifying them and powering up to 1500 CP for the Great League is great, because that's how you use Sableye in the Great League. So, Sierra is great to go after because it allows you to 
get Great League Sableyes. Finally, that moves us into the most popular one, Cliff, which of course will have Shadow Dratini, which can be Shiny Shadow Dratini. Now, Shadow Dragonite has recently, or honestly for a while, been seeing a lot of play in the Great League and the Ultra League, and even in the Master League. It just has so much fast move pressure with Dragon Breath, so obviously it's great to get PvP IVs or just Shadow Dratinis for that. However, Shadow Dragonite is also the number one Dragon type Ray attacker in the game, or number one or number two between Hit and Shadow Salamence, so you can get it for that as well. Honestly, we've been waiting for this for a while because honestly, Shadow Dratini was just such a hard Pokemon to get before, but now you can, you know, grind it. Final thing I'll mention is Giovanni, of course, does have Shadow Regigigas, but not really worth going after. Shadow Regigigas is not going to be good. Its fast moves hold it back. Although it has a super high CP, it's just not worth a radar. Giovanni also has decoy grunt, which will disguise as Giovanni, but when you actually click on Pokestops, they're decoys. But these decoy grunts can get you a Shadow Bellsprout encounter, which means yes, you can shiny hunt Shadow Bellsprout without having to battle Arlo. Just equip a Giovanni radar, look for him at Pokestops, and if it's a decoy grunt, battle it. Okay, before I end this video though, there's another reason you might wanna hunt certain shadow Pokemon and certain grunts, and that's gonna be for the Purifier badge, Purify 1000 Pokemon. Certain Pokemon in their shadow form only cost 1000 stars to purify, it's the cheapest. So if you can find those Pokemon and hunt those Pokemon and then purify them for cheap, it can work on your Purifier metal. Let's go through what those Pokemon are. Okay, Pokemon that cost 1000 stars to purify will be Shadow Weedle and Shadow Lediba from the Bug Grunt, Shadow Magikarp from the Male Water Grunt, Shadow Ducklet from the Flying Grunt, Shadow Alolan Geodude from the Rock Grunt and the Electric Grunt, Shadow Rattata from the Dark Grunt, and Shadow Aeron and Shadow Larion from the Steel Grunt. If you get any of those Pokemon, they're going to be cheap to purify, so just purify them before you transfer them. And with that being said, guys, that is the video. That's the whole new Shadow lineup and which ones you should be going after. If I missed any Shadows or if there's some that I didn't mention on this list that you actually got, let me know because this list is pretty much complete, but we could still be missing a couple encounters. Good luck during the rest of the Team Rocket event. We'll see you in the next one. Fall for Peace.